Um, this is like the first video that I have on this channel, like a public video. It, this channel will just be a bunch of random things, whatever I kind of feel like, whether it be vlogs, more like videos like this. If that sounds interesting to you, then stick around. But today, I'm just going to hop right into what's in my beach bag and yeah, let's just get into it. Winter is coming up which means some summery, more tropical vacations. So I figured I would kind of do a what's in my beach bag slash things I recommend bringing on your next tropical vacation. Um, for an update, my boyfriend and I have been living in Mexico for almost a year um, and we also have, so we've gone on different um, longer beach destination stays um so i think that we've gotten the whole beach thing down to a t um we're still continuously upping our game but i think we kind of have a good handle on things this the, the barbie movie coming out i'm like all about like we beach <laughs> like that's our job is like to beach so anyways the first thing that i wanted to talk about was the kinds of bags that i bring to the beach um this is clearly the first step <laughs> into having a great beach day. The first bag that I use, this is like the bag that I use like if I'm literally just throwing a few things in and just going to the beach like for an hour or so, like nothing crazy. Um, it's this aloe bag. It's just one massive bag. There's no pockets or anything, but it is pretty sturdy. Um, it's well made. Uh, it's huge. Um, and it has like a fun little pattern on it, but this bag does not have like, like I said, any pockets. It doesn't have like a um, way to close it at all. So I don't like to bring this with me when we're going for like a full day, just because I like to be able to close my bag. So if I'm going down to swim in the ocean or something, um, I know that it's like closed, it's not just like open. Um, it also helps like with keeping the sand out um, to have like a zip closure. So this one, doesn't really do that it's pretty flimsy but if you are going on like a vacation um, I highly recommend this bag just because it folds up really well um, super small easy to take with you um, and just you know for the couple of uh, beach or pool days that you'll be having on your vacation but if you live somewhere um, or being a digital nomad and going somewhere for a long period of time, this is still like a good bag because you can also use it for your groceries or your laundry or whatever. But um, for the actual beach itself, I just use it for just short, quick beach trips. So the next bag that I want to talk about is this one. It is a Hydro Flask cooler bag. This is perfect when you're going to the beach for a little bit of a longer time a couple hours and you want to bring some snacks um or you just want to prevent your sunscreen from or your beauty products that you're bringing with you from melting it's really nice it's super sturdy has a pocket right here a pretty big pocket for just anything that you want to quickly grab it has a zipper enclosure which is great um it's huge so it can really fit everything but i really like that one when we go to the beach for a longer amount of time because it can just hold everything um it's well made sturdy and it has a zip um, enclosure and just keeps everything a little bit cooler on the inside the next one is one that i have when it's me and my boyfriend who are going out um this bag is like good to bring for a couple hours um and it's easier to carry, so if we're going somewhere farther away, we like to bring this one, but it is this North Face backpack. Um, this is good because my boyfriend doesn't like carrying the totes. Um, I will sacrifice my shoulders, but he will not. So when we go to the beach together, he likes to bring this backpack. Um, it's huge. Uh, it is meant for traveling, so it does have like a laptop sleeve and a like a shoe compartment, a bottom compartment. But we really like it because, like I said for the millionth time, it's huge, but it also has two entrance points. It has this zipper right here, so you can lay it flat and get to everything when it's laying flat. Or you can prop it up sitting up, and it also has a zipper here on the top as well, as well as a clip. And this is the one that we probably carry the most often because we're going to the beach frequently together. And it's just more comfortable to carry, I will give him that. 
Um, but I do like the cooler tote the best just because it keeps everything inside from getting too hot. So anyways, now that we've covered the bags, let's go into what I put in them. <laughs> so the first thing that I recommend that you bring with you on your vacation is sunscreen. Um, this is, I'm just speaking from my experience, we've been to Ecuador and also Mexico and both places sunscreen was expensive. Ecuador was hard to find sunscreen actually. And then when we did find it, it was expensive. So I highly recommend just bringing a couple of bottles of sunscreen because I mean, once you're then having to buy sunscreen every, you know, couple times that you're going to the beach, then it kind of adds up. So every single time that our friends come, we're like, please bring sunscreen. Um, in here, this is the little bag that we have for our sunscreens. It's insulated, or at least it's like protective on the inside, I guess. Um, so it, well, nothing will leak um, outside of the bag. It has like a little zipper pocket right here. This is just like, you can find these kinds of bags anywhere, but inside here we have basically the entire range of sunscreen. We have like a whole tanning routine. Um, first, we like to start off with the tanning oil for, you know, the hour on both sides. So lower SPF. And then we will, after those that cycle of tanning, we'll go to a mid-range sunscreen, so a 30 SPF spray. Um, and then for, you know, 80 minutes or whatever. And then after that, we'll then go in with the big boy, the 70 SPF for the rest of the day. So we don't get torched and it usually works out. <laughs> um, we also have a face sunscreen in here as well. I use it on my tattoos because it's like a higher SPF and also, of course, our face. Also, highly suggest that you bring with you um, bug spray. If you're staying for a long time, multiple bottles of it. Um, tropical locations often bring mosquitoes who carry bad diseases so we like to protect ourselves around here against those as best we can so highly recommend bringing sunscreen and bug spray with you also highly recommend bringing with you an insulated water bottle the past two trips including this one i did not bring my hydro flask which i use all the time when i'm back in the united states just because i like i'm just a water bottle bottle girly have my emotional water bottle um, my emotional support water bottle, I should say. And I didn't want to bring it with us because on either on any of the trips because it's just so heavy and like I don't want it to get like been dinged up. So I just went this trip this time around. I was like, okay, I want cold water at the beach, and the only way I can do that is with an insulated water bottle. So I went to TJ Maxx when I was at home um, and just picked up a small skinny one that I could bring with us um, to the beach. Um, this also fits in my base uh, sport, split, sport sling bag with a little water bottle pocket. So I just like to have a small skinny water bottle that fits in basically any bag that I have. So I highly recommend. It's Cold water at the beach is a game changer and the plastic water bottles just don't do. Another thing that I brought with me, we haven't had the chance to use it yet because it was the summertime and it's just been too hot to stay out all day at the beach. It's cooling down now so we're back to longer beach days and I got these on my recent trip to the US. Um, they're just like little insulated pots I guess. You could put anything in them, fruit, slices, hummus, salad, soups, whatever. So um, once we start going back to our longer beach days, these will be really good to have because um, then we can have snacks and stuff without leaving the beach. Because the tip is you get to the beach early at like eight or nine because people are on vacation here. So like they stay out late and they don't get up until like 11 so you have the beach a nice quiet beach to yourself until like 11 30 and then it starts getting popping and then that's the time that we start to get hungry but then we're like i don't want to leave because if we leave then we sacrifice our spot so these will be game changers i think moving on <clears throat> this little bag has all of like my random miscellaneous thing so this is just like a hurley uh toiletry bag which I really actually do like it a lot um, in the front pocket I just have like panty liners Pepto Bismol um, some like acid reducer Tylenol packets uh, like lact lactate a hand sanitizer 
uh, hair tie. I have like C bands to prevent seasickness. Um, Motion Ease oil, which I also recommend if you get seasick or like car sick or whatever. This is great. Um, I have multiple lip products. I have this Sun Frog SPF lip balm. I have this tinted lip balm from Revlon. It's Revlon Kiss. Those are all the things that I just like want to have. Like that's like my like pharmaceutical <laughs> pocket. Then in the main pocket, I have like a grocery bag. Sometimes we'll go to the grocery store after the beach, and this is just like nice to have. My sunglasses case, which has my sunglasses in them, which also I wanted to talk about. Um, I just discovered <laughs> these like sunglass cords, and they are revolutionary. Okay, just highly recommend. They don't get stuck in your hair. If you have your hair up, you just have them around your neck. And this one's a super cute one that I got from a vendor. It's just like a cute little flower pattern and I highly recommend. Um, I also have like a hair clip in here, some hand wipes because if you're eating snacks and your hands get gross, some little hand wipes. Um, I have a little Uno to go thing. Um, we play with two people. <laughs> That's We only have two people. Um, my headphones. I have these like anxiety relieving pastilles that I like to have. Um, I have like this little container that has like ginger chews in them. Because more hair ties, my inhaler. I have like a little digital camera. It's been super fun to like take little digital pictures. Um, my hand lotion, a little mini perfume. I have the charger that goes with my portable battery and then I also have just the corded headphones in case my wireless ones die. And then I also have one more SPF chop chopstick. So that's everything that's in this little bag. Um, and this is also most of the stuff that I like to bring like with me when I'm traveling anyway. So I just like to have it in one bag to move around from place to place. Next, what I recommend bringing with you is some good high quality flip flops. These look like a mess right now because they are. Um, these are the rainbow uh, flip-flops and I love my rainbows I've had them for several years I think four years they've literally gone to all the countries that I've been to so far and um, they've walked probably hundreds of miles by now um, I love them so much I highly recommend I will never switch to another flip-flop the only problem is is that they're leather they don't do super well in the rain um, they have definitely taken a beating because of not just their crazy usage but because of the rain so I am gonna get a pair of plastic flops just for the rainy season but otherwise those are my dailies I wear them all the time I'm in the next thing that I want to talk about is a hat I thought I was fine okay with a little baseball cap I thought I was fine the entire time I was like this will be good and then my boyfriend got this for me for our anniversary because it says it's better in Playa del Carmen which is where we're living at the moment super cute I love this hat but I saw this cute cutie girl on the beach wearing one of these hats and like tanning and covered her whole face like on the beach and I was like that's revolutionary because my caps my baseball caps don't like cover my entire head and also like they just don't do it for me these are so good you can just wear them to and from the beach they're a little bit big but you can attach them to your bag just with a little cord or you can wear them or you can like wear them like this like a little adventurer and I just this is just perfect <clears throat> please get yourself a nice big sun hat if you're going to the beach it's I swear to you will change everything next I have my wallet um, this is just like a little coin pouch that's attached to our keys and a little air tag and a little emergency whistle but this brand scout I really like it um, they have a bunch of different like patterns and stuff but they're it's like a water resistant wallet which is perfect because it's obviously going in and out of my beach bag and it also has like um, a clear pocket on the other side for your ID to just slip into so if you need to you know show your ID or whatever but it is just super nice I like it a lot I really love it and it just like also has like a little clip that comes on it as well to attach whatever you want of course you can't go to the beach without 
a book. Well, you can, but I wouldn't recommend. This is the Koba, Kobo <coughs> Libra H2O. So it's water resistant. Obviously, it's an ebook, so I have a bunch of books on here. I rent books from my library on this. So, like every two weeks, I have a book that I'm reading on here at the beach. That's where I get most of my reading done, actually. So, highly recommend getting a little ebook with a little cover on it. This is something that I didn't think I was going to use, but I do actually a lot. It's like one of the phone pocket things. I don't use it for like going in the water, but just to protect my phone and like its speakers and stuff from getting sand in it. Every single time we go to the beach, I do this. Also because I usually don't have pockets. This is nice to just like have around your neck, like while you're walking home or walking there, um, just so you don't have to worry about putting your phone in your pocket and like maybe getting it pickpocketed or falling out. So highly recommend that. This is the other thing that if you are going to go to a destination for a long time or even for a vacation, I think that this is helpful. I highly recommend one of these. Okay, this is the brand uh, Caro Beach. And this is like a huge, nice little blanket, beach blanket. Resists sand, resists water, stays clean, folds up nicely. Towels, too bulky. Get rid of them. Like you can jerk dry, but this... It's so nice if you're going to be laying out for hours and hours on end. That's what's in my beach bag. Um, I hope that you guys found that helpful. And I hope that you guys stick around to the channel and see what's coming next. But if you have any questions or more recommendations, leave them in the comments below. But I'll catch you in the next one.